I'm Caroline Lara. I'm the Director of Advancement at Cumberland Presbyterian Children's Home, and my job involves fundraising and public relations for the agency. And I do want to, to mention that 40% of our income at the Children's Home comes from donations from individuals, from churches, and from business and community groups. So obviously that is the largest single source of income for us. Uh, the other parts of our income pie are made up by donations from the Cumberland Presbyterian denomination itself. However, that's only two or three percent. And we do get some funding from our endowment interest, from grants, and also from state agencies. But as I said, 40 percent, the largest piece of our income pie, comes from donations from individuals, churches, and community groups. And has the current economic downfall caused any drop in money supply? It really has. Our, our donations are down. Um, people, people are still giving, but they might be giving less. So they haven't stopped being supportive, but they're just not in a position to give as much. So that puts us in a position where we have to go out and actively seek new sources of funding to keep our programs for kids and families going. One thing that people don't often think about is in times of economic downturn, the need for services like the ones we provide, they actually rise. So it's a bad situation when you have income falling because of a recession, but the need for the programs rising also because of the recession. So we're really struggling to, to balance those two things right now. Over the four years I've been working at the Children's Home, our programs and services have increased significantly, primarily with the addition of our Family Outfitters program, which offers sliding fee scale counseling, as well as education to the community at large. And we have grown that program through the years. We're continuing to grow it even though we're seeing this economic downturn you know we, we've made it a priority and we're we're using staff that we have on hand we're using resources we already have to continue to roll out and grow that program cumberland presbyterian children's home is one agency with three different program areas i like to say that our name doesn't cover everything we do um, we've been around for 105 years and for 105 years we have been caring for children in residential care and obviously that is today still one of our program areas we care for kids who for many different reasons can't live with their families then in 1999, we added a second program area, which is called the Single Parent Family Program. It is also a residential program on our campus, but it is for either single mothers or fathers and their children. They live in duplexes here on campus, and this is a program that's about helping families become more self-sufficient and become a stronger family unit during their time with us. The limit on that program is 12 months in residence, so they come in with goals that they want to accomplish within 12 months, and hopefully when they leave, as I said, they've become much more self-sufficient and a stronger family. And our third program area, which we launched in 2007, is the Family Outfitters Program. This is a non-residential program that's available to anybody in the community who is interested in the services and we do provide sliding fee scale counseling and educational classes through the Family Outfitters program. The sliding fee scale counseling can include individual marital or family counseling and the sliding fee is based on income. Then the education that we provide through that program is primarily either parent training using love and logic parenting or premarital education and we see all of these programs as supporting our mission to provide healing and hope to children and families there are a lot of things that we wouldn't be able to do if we didn't have mission groups come to our campus the projects that we have mission groups help us with are too big for our staff to handle alone. We don't have the manpower to do it, or we don't have enough time to devote to the projects. And, and having a large group of people come and devote their efforts to a few projects and see them through to the finish is a great asset for us at Cumberland.
Cumberland Presbyterian Children's Home. We have quite a lot of different activities on campus for the kids who live here. We want their experience while they live at Cumberland to be very typical and similar to a child's experience if they were living with their family. Um, we want to provide extracurricular activities outside of school for them. So we have recreation organized twice a week. During the summer we have um, our pool open. We have academic tutoring and academic academic enrichment activities, which are very important to us. The school and, and making good grades is a big priority and we emphasize that with our kids. With some of our older kids, our teenagers, we have independent living skills workshops for them where they can learn skills that everybody needs to be successful in life. Um, everything from things like how to do your laundry, how to shop for groceries, how to cook healthy meals, how to use public transportation, how to use different kind of computer programs, how to be safe on the internet, um, different kinds of life skills that are critical for them to be successful when they leave here. So we really do provide a wide array of enrichment and extracurricular activities for our kids. We really appreciate the contribution of all of our Cumberland Presbyterian friends and other friends outside the denomination. It means so much to us to have your support for our ministry to children and families in need.